This mechanical comprehension practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says, a beam has a maximum strength of 6,000 PSI. A 500 pound weight is added to the center of the beam and creates an additional stress of 1,000 PSI to the beam. How much more weight can the beam take at its center before it reaches its breaking point? So according to this problem, every time we add 500 pounds of weight to the beam, it creates a thousand PSI of stress on the beam. And we want to know how much more weight above the 500 pounds we can add to this beam until it breaks at 6,000 PSI. So all we're going to do is increase our weight by 500 pounds until we reach 6,000 PSI. So if we add 500 pounds to 500 pounds, that gives us a thousand pounds of weight on the beam and that corresponds to 2,000 PSI of stress on the beam. Let's add 500 more pounds. That brings us up to 1,500 pounds of weight. That corresponds to 3,000 PSI of stress on the beam. Let's add 500 more pounds. That brings us to 2,000 pounds of weight on the beam. That corresponds to 4,000 PSI. If we add 500 more pounds of weight, that brings us to 2,500 pounds. That corresponds to 5,000 PSI of stress on the beam. And then finally, if we add 500 more pounds, that brings us to 3,000 pounds of weight on the beam. And that corresponds to 6,000 PSI of stress on the beam. And at this point, the beam would break. So according to the problem, we want to know how much more weight can be added to the beam before it reaches its breaking point. Uh, we started with 500 pounds and we went all the way up to 3,000 pounds. So to determine how much more weight we had to add to that 500 pounds, we'll do 3,000 minus 500, which is going to be 2,500. In other words, we had to add 2,500 more pounds of weight in order to reach the breaking point of this beam. So this one is going to be D.